I'm Jeff Cobb. This is HybridCars.com, and back for 2013 is Toyota's Prius C. Toyota's Prius C was introduced as a new, smaller, subcompact, skipping right underneath the compact category. The Prius liftback actually is considered a midsize by its interior volume space. This car is 19 inches shorter. It doesn't look that much shorter unless you size them up next to each other, and it is fairly roomy. Another thing about the car is that it has a 0.28 drag coefficient, which makes it aerodynamically slippery. It is definitely an economy car. It has 99 total system horsepower based on an Atkinson Cycle 1.5 liter 4 engine that only puts out 73 horsepower and another 26 horsepower comes by the electric motor which also helps with torque. Toyota's Prius C comes in four iterations. The most basic level, the Prius C1, starts at just below $20,000 MSRP including the destination charge and the EPA mileage is the highest of all cars sold in the U.S. that don't plug in and use grid power. This one gets 50 miles per gallon combined, same as the liftback, but its city figure is a little bit higher at 53, and the highway mileage is 46 miles per gallon. Its main reason in life is to get super mileage and be a very effective people hauler. It actually is a five-seater. The advantage of this car also is that it's unique in its design signature. When Toyota redesigned this hybrid Synergy Drive package into a hatchback, they chose that it is a dedicated hybrid platform. There's no regular internal combustion gas engines as well as this car, but it doesn't have that hybrid-y signature to it. It is considered an icon, the regular Prius. People buy it just to buy a Prius, truth be told. This car, blends in. You drive it along on the highway and it just looks like a hatchback. It's a small hatchback. Then you might notice the Prius badges or the, or the hybrid badges, but apart from that, you blend in more. You've got a smaller car. We've been getting over 50 miles per gallon with this car and not really too gingerly on the accelerator to do so. It's also pretty good in the crash test. It did take an IIHS uh, top safety pick uh, award in its first year. When as has not been unusual when Consumer Reports actually reported on the car. They disliked it so much they recommended people buy a used Prius liftback instead of a new Prius C because they thought the interior was cheap and the power was weak. Um, it is true that the car is no frills. It is true that it's not as techno cool as a regular Prius. It is true that it's slower. Um, it's not dangerously slow but you're never going to mistake yourself as being in some kind of medium quick car. Given the trade-off with the unique look, the effectiveness of the car, and the ease of getting superb mileage better than the regular Prius by a few miles per gallon, uh, it is a qualified buy. It is, it is worth considering. I actually like the car personally. I'm, you know, for an inexpensive set of wheels, as new cars go, um, it's, it's not bad at all, and it's a no-brainer not to have to go to the gas pump very often. Not only do you save money, but you don't waste time going to the fuel station, but once every in a while, unless you're driving mega miles. Uh, it's a highly controlled engine, not a very powerful engine, not a turbocharged engine. Where it makes up its extra power to get you going is the electric motor assembly, thus the hybrid synergy drive, the synergy between the two powertrains. The interior of this car is all business. It's uh, not a lot of pizzazz or super creature comforts involved. It's just functional. I have decent leg room for my 34-inch inseam. Uh, I had the seat all the way back, as a matter of fact, to do that. And my back seat passengers, they have some knee room, less than with the lift back, but it's decent. Ergonomics, layout, all functional. Everything's at your fingertips. The steering wheels tilt and telescoping in this particular model. Uh, this one happens to have, as mentioned, a 6.1 inch diagonal uh, touchscreen that offers you infotainment including a satellite radio and, and iPod connectivity and a, 
It has a USB port as well. Naturally, this is an automatic transmission, but really it's a CVT that acts like an automatic, where it's a little bit different from the higher line models. This is you just have an eco mode, an EV mode. It's uh, theoretically good for up to a mile in all electric mode if you can pull that off. That's at lower speed, below 25 miles per hour, and very easy going on the throttle, or else the gas does come on. They've done some nice texturizing to the materials. It's not soft to press into, but it's not rock hard either. Uh, the, the interior layout, you've got a lot of cubbies, so you can stash stuff here and there. You've got a little armrest with this model that has a little bit of storage space in it. You know, it's, it's not that strict. The upside to all that is that you've got a simple car. Less complexity can be a good thing too, you know, keep it simple. The Prius C has been both panned as overpriced and a good buy, depending on who's looking at the car. We think that the car is pretty amazing for the miles per gallon you get, the unique design signature that doesn't scream green car, and a realistically decent entry level price for a subcompact hybrid. All told, we would say that the vehicle is worth it in qualified terms, but ultimately that's a decision you'll have to make. Thank you.